docking. Before proceeding with a docking operation, let us look into some of the more important considerations for docking airships. Airships are always docked in the hangar tail first. A down hangar wind will produce back draft in the hangar. Back draft should be controlled by regulating the doors at the non-operating end of the hangar. A down hangar wind involves danger to the airship because a sudden wind shift can cause the tail to strike the side of the hangar. An up hanger wind causes spill and turbulence at the operating end of the hangar. Therefore, docking with an up hanger wind may cause the airship to kite when it is in the turbulent area. In preparation for docking, the mast is moved close to the corner of the hangar while the airship is allowed to vane into the wind. The tail is then pulled by the mules through the turbulent area. This movement will be aided by the wind coming around the corners once the tail of the airship has been moved past the corner of the hangar. However, the airship may strike the near side of the hangar if the tail movement is too rapid and is not checked. To dock an airship with a crosshanger wind, the mast must first be placed outboard of the safety guidelines, but close to the upwind corner of the hangar. This allows the tail to be pulled into the hangar and still favor the wind as much as possible. Special care must be taken that the side of the airship does not strike the corner of the hangar. Therefore, as soon as the tail clears the downwind corner, the mast is moved toward the hangar center and into the hangar. Now, let's watch an actual docking with a quartering down hangar wind condition. The ground handling officer signals the handling party when he is ready to begin docking. He has previously checked the streamer pennants in the hangar to be sure there's no backdraft. He directs the tractor to start moving the mast toward the upwind corner of the hangar. The mules with the tail handling lines move with the airship, ready to check any movement that might be hazardous. When the mast has been moved far enough upwind, the mules begin to pull the tail of the airship past the downwind corner and into the hangar. When the tail is clear of the side of the hangar, the petty officer aft signals clear to move into the hangar. The ground handling officer directs the tractor driver to turn the mast across the safety line and proceed toward the hangar entrance. As soon as the mast has crossed the safety line, it is essential to accomplish the docking operation as quickly as possible because a sudden wind shift could cause the airship to strike the hangar. Once in the hangar, the airship is positioned, unmasted, and properly secured. You have seen the most important aspects of airship ground handling. The safe ground handling of airships depends upon the ability of the ground handling officer to estimate the situation correctly, to give the correct order. and safe ground handling depends upon the ground handling crew's knowledge of correct procedures.
and upon their immediate reaction to the ground handling officers orders